Here comes the famous clap. Hey there, my name is Joe Allen and I'm an independent creative from the UK. Now you may have seen one of my previous videos, which in fact was what I would call my first channel video, a lot of inverted commas. And to date it's been my most viewed and most liked video, so hopefully you guys have already seen that. And if you're new to this channel, I'd recommend going and checking it out. It's all about how I set up my desk in terms of cable tying things, organizing it, and all the products that I've got to use. This video is actually gonna be a tour of that finished product a year down the line. So you can see where I fine tuned things and really found that perfect balance of what I like on my desk. So stick around, I hope you enjoy this video. And remember to check my blog or the description right below that like button and you'll be able to see links to where you can purchase all of this equipment. So without further ado, let's have a look at it. So if we run just from left to right, we'll be able to go through all of the equipment here. So first up, we got the Apple Cinema Display HD. Now this is a 23 inch display from Apple, obviously. And it was discontinued back in, I think, 2008 or 2009. And uh, I actually bought this second hand on eBay many years ago. I've had quite a few problems in terms of moving it between locations where it's not powered on properly. As soon as it's set up, it's worked flawlessly and I'm a little bit worried about moving from this room because I feel like that's probably going to be the moment when it dies. Uh, that being said, I do love this display. The quality is outstanding and I just love having an anti-glare display. It's pretty rare these days. Then we've got the main attraction. Now this is a iMac 27 inch. Uh, this was a top spec version just before the 5K iMac came out. So it's a 3.5 gigahertz uh, quad core i7. It's got 24 gigabytes of memory. There's a three terabyte fusion drive, the NVIDIA GeForce 750M with four gigabytes of dedicated graphics memory. And that's pretty much your lot. It's an amazing machine. Uh, I probably won't be upgrading it for another couple of years. It's, it's really done me proud for the last year and a half or so. And I love it. Having a huge display like this is amazing for photo work um, and it's just super beefy, super fast and it's just so good. And then down at the front here we've got my desktop speakers. These are the Bose Companion 3 Series 2 desktop speakers and they've got this little control pod here where you just kind of wing around the volume, tap, turn on and off and you've got audio out, audio in. Uh, the reason I went for the Companion 3s is because I would only ever be using them in a small room like this rather than getting the Companion 5s for example. Also the Companion 3s are connected over auxiliary rather than USB. To me that's a much better setup really for audio because it means that I can take them elsewhere and plug them into an iPhone or they're just generally more versatile. And then of course I've got my Apple keyboard and Magic Mouse. I have actually tried with the Logitech Performance MX. Uh, I used to use that at work a lot a couple of years ago. And I bought one for the home, uh, probably about a year or so without using one, and I just didn't get on with it. And uh, I went back to using my Magic Mouse. I just, I love the multi-touch on here and it's actually really comfortable to me. Um, some may say it's a low profile, too flat, but I really enjoy it, so that's that. Occasionally I will also use a Magic Trackpad. Um, again, I just like the multi-touch on here. It's, it's pretty great for just web browsing and just general easy day-to-day -day use. Um, if I'm doing any sort of design work or anything, then I will use that. Or occasionally I'll pull out a Wacom tablet and do that, but I'll show you that in a moment. I've got a dock here for my iPhone or iPad, and that just connects straight into USB. Now this is a Rode NT1A. Let's pull that across. Now this is a microphone that I'll be using for voiceovers and if I'm doing a voiceover in this video I may actually be using this microphone. And as you can see it's got a shock mount and a pop filter and it just plugs in as XLR, goes all the way under. I pull the cable up around here and then I have a Zoom H4n that I connect into that. That just sits at the back of my desk nice and tidy out of the way. Now this guy here is a GTEC G-Doc EV and I've got four separate USB 3 drives and they just slot in and then from there it connects in as Thunderbolt. Now this is a great setup for me because I also have a MacBook Pro so I'm constantly going between desktop and portable machines and quite often I need to take a drive with me. So I can take one of these and you can see I've just got them labelled here with different numbers so I know which one is which. For example Drive number four is my freelance drive for when I go and work at various companies. That's got all of my work on there and I can just come and plug it into the dock and then it just mounts and it's a pretty versatile setup. So for the moment I've got four. Um, they also make two terabyte versions of these but I haven't got one of those yet. 
uh, it is on the shopping list though. And then I've just got some filing here. So these are mainly just for my company where I've got all of my things like tax returns and important documents and other government related things. And this is a grommet from Grommet Unleashed. This is the Salty Sea Dog designed by Peter Lord, who is uh, one of the co-creators of Ardman. Um, of course, Ardman make Wallace and Gromit. This is one that my brother got me. So thank you, Nick. I appreciate it. It looks great on my desk. And we just got a standard Ikea, uh, I think it's called the Tertial Lamp. Um, it's just on this scissor arm mechanism. Works great, pretty much. It's a lamp. What else could you ask for? And then right behind here, this is a telephone. I don't use it. It rings. I don't answer it. Honestly, I don't know where people get the phone number from because I don't use it for anything other than dialing 08 numbers or the things that are expensive on your mobile. It's literally not listed anywhere. So I don't know how people phone me, but they do and I do not answer it. One little guy down here. This is a Lexar USB 3 SD and compact flash card reader. I use that for importing all of my footage. And just here is a Wacom Intuos pen. Um, so if I'm doing some photo editing, I will pull up a Wacom tablet. So this just sits at the side of my desk and I'm able to use it. Naturally, I'm left-handed, so it works rather well because I can then still use the mouse in my right hand. Keyboard's in the middle, button's down the side. And it's perfect. This is the Intuos 4 Large. Uh, there's actually the Intuos 5 now and I personally wouldn't actually recommend going for the large version. I'd probably go for the medium or the small if I were to get another one because sometimes it physically is too large. Uh, I managed to get a hefty discount on this from when I used to work at Apple, so that was why I went for the larger version, but to be honest, I, I wouldn't recommend going for the larger one now. I also sometimes pull up a large notepad if I'm jotting down the day's to-do list and various other tasks. I'll just write them down here, scribble them off. I like having a large one. Uh, this is from Muji. And it's kind of on this newsprint style paper. Um, but yeah, I like having a large one because it allows you to just really sketch out anything for the day. So that's everything on the surface of the desk. Uh, let's have a look down the sides. My desk is built from two discontinued side storage areas with a tabletop from Ikea. In the lower left area, you'll find some moleskin notebooks and a set of drawers from Muji holding stationery. In the upper area, I have some spare chargers and other items collectively known as stuff. I've then got some lunch boxes that hold some frequently used cables such as USB, Thunderbolt and audio cables. The boxes do play a special role in helping to keep the cables fresh and to stop them from going off. On the right hand side, I just have some more external hard drives for extra storage. You'll also notice that my room now has a large world map which was inherited from my grandparents. An interesting point about the map is that it's centred over the Pacific Ocean rather than Europe. On the wall to the right, I've stuck some Fuji Instax photos and hung a whiteboard with all my current and upcoming projects. You'll notice I use numbered little magnets to arrange the priority of each item so that I don't have to rewrite a list when I've completed something. And that pretty much finishes everything for my room. So there you have it. That is my complete desk tour of all of my equipment and everything that I'm using for my design, photography, and film work. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below uh, what you'd like to see in future videos or maybe some comments on this particular video or just anything in general. I'd really love to hear what you think. And if you're new to my channel, I invite you to go and check out my other videos. And if you like the content that you're seeing, hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to stay up to date with all of my future videos. And remember to go and check out my blog post. You'll be able to see a full write-up with some extended thoughts on each item as well as links of where you can purchase them. All right, so that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Ah, that really hurt. <laughs>